the first step when someone's diagnosed with colon cancer is we figure out has it spread anywhere. And that's part of the initial staging of colon cancer. So one will get a CAT scan often of someone's abdomen and pelvis and some imaging of their chest. And then determine has it spread anywhere outside of the colon or rectal area. And then if it hasn't spread anywhere at the time of surgery is where the rest of the staging occurs. So the pathologist will look at the specimen that's taken at the time of surgery and look has, how far it's gone through the bowel wall and whether there are any lymph nodes involved. There are four stages of colon cancer, stage one to four. Stage four are people where it's spread outside the colon area. The most common areas of spread are the liver and the lungs. Stage one is the earliest stage of colon cancer where there are no lymph nodes involved. It hasn't spread outside the local colon or rectal area and it hasn't ver gone very far through the bowel wall. Stage two disease are patients where it's gone a little bit more through the bowel wall but no lymph nodes are involved and again no spread to other organs. And stage three disease is no spread to other organs but it did involve some of the lymph nodes in the nearby area. The reason that this is most important when we treat patients is it determines what's the best treatment for patients. So most patients will still have some surgery to remove the primary lesion that's in their colon. For patients with stage 1 to 3 disease, surgery is the first step, and then some patients with stage 2 and most patients with stage 3 disease should get chemotherapy after for approximately 6 months. For patients where it's stage 4, where it's spread to other organs, there's a whole variety of different treatment schemas and it really depends on the extent of the spread of the disease and how the patient's doing, how the patient's feeling at the time when they're diagnosed.